Welcome back to a new video. Today I want to show you my really good sorcerer build using frost based abilities. Leveling from level 1 to 50 can be a very boring task and because of the new season, season of the malignant, many of us had to make new characters and I came up with a really good build for sorcerer if you decided to choose sorcerer as your new season 1 character. So the playstyle of this build mainly revolves around spamming frost bolts and ice shards and using the ice armor for some protection and survivability is kind of like a hybrid build of damage slash protection and survivability so it's not going to be a pure DPS build. I'll show you some of the gameplay so what you want to do is you want to run up to the enemies gather them around a bit and make sure you take out these guys first and then do a frost nova to stun them and do some frost bolts and if they're tough maybe do some ice shards to do even more damage and do a shield and maybe another frost nova yep we can do two frost novas after each other with our build and aspects and do like another frost armor if you really need it another frost nova and some ice shards take down these big guys and finish them off with some frost bolts so as you can see it's a pretty good build you can just run in here do some damage, but you really need Frost Nova because as you can see without Frost Nova, whilst it's on cooldown, we are kind of limited to just getting hit in the face and depending on ice armor to keep us safe. And we also have teleport to get ourselves out of stuns and get ourselves out of trouble if we get into trouble. And Frost Nova there to control the enemies. And we also have, uh, what's it called, unstable currents. You know, I chose unstable currents because the other frost skill that freezes you in a block of ice is kind of crap. It makes you survive and makes you immune for a couple seconds, but I didn't really find it to be very useful. And I found unstable currents to be much more useful because, like you can see, it increases your attack speed by 25% and also spawns some random lightning attacks. So I do like unstable currents as my ultimate skill. And then as for the key passive, we have the key passive where... When the enemy gets frozen and then dies after being frozen, they have like a chance of exploding for 25% of the damage, which is very nice when you've grouped them up like this and they will start exploding and basically killing each other, which is very useful. Okay, so I showed you the gameplay play style. Now I'll show you the points you need to make this build. So obviously you need five out of five frost bolts and max that out enhanced frost bolts, flickering frost bolts. Now frost bolts make frozen enemies vulnerable for extra damage. And then we max out ice shards. I found that ice shards are much better than frozen orb. I don't like frozen orb because it makes like an orb appear and then it just keeps moving forwards going straight past where the enemies are and it just doesn't really do much damage and then moves away from where the action is happening which is kind of redundant. So I maxed out ice shards, enhanced ice shards and greater ice shards. I really like enhanced ice shards because it has a 40% chance to make the ice shards ricochet off the enemies and create like an AoE effect. So for the defensive skills, we have obviously Ice Armor, max that out, and Enhanced Ice Armor and Shimmering Ice Armor. Now I like Shimmering Ice Armor over Mystical Ice Armor because I think it's pretty cool that whilst you have the Ice Armor on, you have 15% chance to make the enemies become frozen for 3.15 seconds. So whilst they are attacking you and you've got Ice Armor on, they might accidentally freeze themselves, which is very useful. And then Frost Nova, basically very self-explanatory. If you've ever played World of Warcraft, it's basically exactly the same as Frost Nova in World of Warcraft. AoE freezes the enemies around you for a few seconds, and frozen enemies take extra damage whilst they're frozen and vulnerable. As you can see, I skipped everything in Conjuration because I'm not really a fan of Conjuration skills. I've tried out Ice Blades and Lightning Spear, and they just do kind of rubbish damage compared to what you could do spending the points elsewhere. So here in mastery skills, we didn't get anything in mastery either, apart from these random stats, which increase your barriers, increase the duration by 15%, snap freeze, frost skills have 9% chance to instantly freeze, and uh, barrier buffs. So basically it's just buffing your lucky hits and freezing stuff. And I also got all these stats here in the ultimate section. I got all of the stats and skills that give buffs to frozen and ice damage. 
So Frost skills deal 15% increased damage to elites, deal 12% increased cold damage to vulnerable enemies, deal 9% increased damage to chilled enemies. I think you get the point. And here, like I said earlier, I skipped deep freeze because it's kind of boring and rubbish. And I find unstable currents to be much more interesting and better for increasing your DPS. And then for the key passive, I got Shatter. After freeze expires, enemies explode for 25%. Now for the aspects I have on my head, 6% uh, chance to reset defensive cooldowns when you get hit. So you can see sometimes the armor and frost nova randomly resets the cooldown just because you're getting attacks, which I find very useful. Because frost nova does have a pretty long cooldown, it's like 20 seconds, and we do get two charges of it. Um, but 20 seconds is quite a long time to not have frost nova available to you, and it might come become available again when you get hit. So I have uh, self healing for 104 life per enemy around you. Explosions from Shatter deal 40% increased damage if enemies die whilst frozen. This is really important for this build because basically what it means is once the enemies are frozen and you kill them whilst they're frozen, uh, they'll deal 40% of that damage to everything around it so it's even more AoE damage. And this one's also really important. Frost Nova gains additional charge but the cooldown is increased by 36%. So yeah, the cooldown is a bit longer, but you can do Frost Nova two times in a row. I mean, let me show you what it looks like. Boom, and then boom, that's two Frost Novas in a row is pretty good. Next we have, uh, the, when there are at least five close enemies, stun them for two seconds. This can occur every once 20 seconds. So that's really cool, because every 20 seconds you're gonna be AoE stunning everything for two seconds. On our staff, we have deal 50% more damage to immobilized and stunned or frozen enemies. So imagine you freeze them with Frost Nova. You're automatically going to do 50% more damage to them just because they're frozen and stunned. And then on the amulet, we have... Oh, I have the same aspects as what's on my... Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, so I need to replace my amulet, but that's fine. You can just replace that with something else like a barrier buff or I don't know, it's up to you. And then for the Devious Heart, I have the 2,296 fire damage dealt whilst you escape crowd control. And then for the ring, I have unstable currents is not active. Your shock skills have 8% chance. That's kind of rubbish too, because we don't have shock skills. I might have to replace that with something else. And for the heart, we gain 12% barrier generation and heal whilst we have barrier on, which is pretty good. And then for this one, the core or mastery skills cast at 100 mana or above. Gain 26% increased critical strike chance. And as for the Paragon board, we don't really have enough points in the Paragon board at this stage to be able to get the Glyph Socket. But if I could get the Glyph Socket, I would get... I'd probably get this one, Winter Rare Glyph. I'd use this one because it says whenever you chill an enemy, you deal 3% increased cold damage up to 15%. So that's 15% bonus, bonus damage. Pretty good. But as you can see, I need to level up a few more times to be able to get enough paragon points to get the first glyph socket so you can see the playstyle again i'll show you again against single targets is pretty boring but you can see the burst damage you can do against single targets when they get frozen or vulnerable it really shines the build really shines when you've got like a mob of enemies like this mob of enemies we freeze them blow this archer guy up and then they just blow each other up like that and frost i think frost bolt does like an aoe damage against frozen enemies so if they're frozen and you spam them with Frostbolt, Frostbolt basically becomes an AOB damage spell, which is pretty nice. And if you get in real big trouble, you can always just rely on the shield like that and finish them off with some ice shards. So we've got like a little mini boss elite guy here. See how much damage we do to this guy. So it's quite a lot of uh, damage in the first few seconds. And then we can use unstable currents like that and shield up ice shard spam them down and we've got a frost nova coming up now frost nova and then finish them off with ice shards and shatter explosions and that's basically it really i mean that's the play style in the nutshell Frostbolt can do some nice damage as well when it crits.
But if you're not triggering those freeze and vulnerability buffs,